A technological breakthrough is happening in our own backyard. What you're about to see could reduce food spoilage and waste worldwide. It is Appeal Science's homegrown product and its quest to end hunger on a global scale. So all of our products, right, we start with uneaten plant materials. The seed to reducing produce waste worldwide is taking root here at Appeal Sciences in Santa Barbara. What we're doing isn't magic. At the end of the day, it's not some scary new chemical that someone's invented that does something strange. But in a sense, it is magic, tricking nature into fooling itself. So these are all from Joffers, actually, right down the street. And it starts in this refrigerator, packed with plant waste. And then we stockpile it, and we use this uh, to develop all of our products downstream. From grape to tossed out during the winemaking process to the stalks and stems left in a broccoli field after harvest, even grass clippings. We want to get access to those materials after they're broken down, but we don't want to wait for the composting process. Extraction, formulation, application, and large-scale manufacturing. Appeal's multi-step method is almost like the Willy Wonka movie, without the chocolate. If we do our job appropriately, uh, what comes out of that process are these nice, clean, pure materials. CEO James Rogers was educated at Carnegie Mellon and got his Ph.D. at UCSB. With his team, Appeal has the jump on a niche that will change the way fruits and vegetables are grown, shipped, and stocked, potentially worldwide. We're basically taking materials from nature that are food themselves, and then we're applying them to food in order to create effectively more food by, by reducing waste. Yeah. The end result is a liquid plant-based preservative coating. And they will spray them, dip them, or paint them back onto the surfaces of the plants that we're actually eating. And that thin layer slows down the rate at which water evaporates out of the produce, and it slows down the rate at which oxygen gets in, and it makes the produce last two to five times longer without refrigeration. Skeptical? Let's go into the time-lapse analysis room. You can't go out and buy a time-lapse analysis kit. Um, so we actually had to build our own. Mounted cameras constantly snap photos of samples from wilting roses to juicy tomatoes, potatoes, and berries. And then that gets uploaded to our server. A synced computer shows the dramatic results. Look what happens to produce on the right, treated with Appeal's product, versus the samples on the left without. By day three, the strawberries are going fast. By day 14, the green beans are shriveled and done. That's crazy. I mean, uh, when we first started doing this, we thought we'd maybe get like a 40 or 50 percent benefit, but we see, you know, a two to five X extension in the shelf life of almost everything we've worked with. Yeah, we sent them Want to send blueberries to Chile? Appeal will simulate a shipment to, say, Santiago and put it through a 30-day hold test using the exact conditions. Um, whereas you can see that the, you know, the treated avocados are still, still hard and green, making them sellable. So How produce will travel and the movers and shakers of the world are noticing. We're working with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation to deliver a product which can be used on both mangoes in Kenya, tomatoes in Nigeria, and cassava uh, between most of the sub-Saharan Africa. Appeal is now waiting for its manufacturing permit from the state and hopefully that comes within the next couple of weeks. Once that's ready, they'll be ready with their first sellable batch. And Appeal has two solutions. Ed Appeal for post-harvest production and Invisapeal is used while the plant is growing. Both are used right now on blueberry and citrus farms locally.